Welcome back for another video. Today I'm going to be talking about a startup that I have just launched. So the startup is called invoicegold.com and I'm going to have a quick run over it in this video and let you guys see how this platform works and what it is. So this is a platform or a startup that I built using Ruby on Rails 6. So I thought it might be a good way to show what some of the capabilities are using Ruby on Rails. Let's have a look at some of the features. One of the key things that this platform does is allow you to create quotations and invoices for your clients. So it's perfectly suited for anyone who works freelance, but it also works for small businesses too. And one of the cool things about it is that you can actually create multiple businesses within it or multiple companies within your account. And each of those accounts can have different currencies and different address details. So it allows you to work for clients in different countries and still bill accordingly to where the client is based. So we're going to have a look at how things work within the platform. So I've just been running over the, the front end site here, the sales site. So once you click into the register section, you can sign up and get a free account. So I'm already signed in here at the moment. So you will see this uh, dashboard automatically. And the dashboard is quite simple in design right now, but it will record most of the stats from within your account. So I'm going to create a new quotation. So I'm going to the quotes section. And for the purpose of this video, I've already set up a client. So the client is already created. Um, so we're just jumping in to create our first quotation. But you can also add a new client from within this screen. So this will give you a pop-up dialog where you can add the details and then you can just select the contact from that company. So some of these fields are quite basic. We've got the issue date for the quotation and when that quotation expires. But the nice feature here is that you can simply break down quotations based on tasks or in this case disciplines. And each of those tasks or disciplines have a different price attached to it. So we can customize these in the settings but you can also add new disciplines in here and you can overwrite the description of that task or discipline and then just simply set the number of hours or the quantity if it's a physical product. Um, so it's quite flexible in the way that we can do that. So we can either use physical product or we can simply use, um, in this case, what the task is. So we'll say here's an example, graphic design, uh, $75 an hour. And that will simply add that in by default for us. So now we've got the hourly rate and we can select it then from any of these drop down menus. So I'm just going to finish off this quotation and then we will save it. So we'll just enter a number of hours here. Um, I'm going to set a default issue date. So let's just pick today's date. And there is a validation message here. So I've forgotten to select the client I guess and uh, the name of the quotation so the name of the quotation is just like a description an internal reference so let's call this homepage design so this is the design of the quotation it's quite simple um, but one of the cool things here is that you can send directly from the platform so this will send an email with the PDF attached to the email. So it will go directly to your client or you can download it as a PDF. Um, so that way maybe you want to just uh, print it out or to send it directly outside of the platform. So you've got all the details here broken down. And you can also mark it as sent. So I quite like to do that sometimes. It allows me to um, you know, do other things with it. So maybe you've uh, maybe you've sent it directly via an email and um, you want to just mark it as sent within the platform. Let's have a look at the client section. So in here you can see that I've set up this default client and we can add additional contacts. So there's a button here at the bottom right. So that's something that you probably won't need to do that often but you can come in and add additional contacts. So looking at the quotes list page, here you can see the quote that we have saved and I can send a reminder here. So this will automatically send an email to the client, but I can also come in here and accept the quote manually or decline it. 
So normally if you send an email via the platform, the client will have the opportunity to accept the quotation or decline it. And they can also attach a message to that quotation that we will see within the platform. So I've just manually approved this quotation. So maybe you have a verbal uh, agreement to um, go ahead with the quotation. So if the client just tells you over the phone or via email, for example, so you can actually come in here and just accept it yourself. Now I'm going to click the create invoice. So once the quote has been approved, you can create the invoice just by clicking a button and it will auto populate these values. So again, you see the breakdown here. We've got the same hours, the same prices for each task. So I'm going to save this invoice and the invoice is quite similar in design to the quotation. I try to keep it really simple, the design. So we can also download the PDF of the invoice. We have the option here to mark the invoice as sent. And we have another feature here that I've added for a late payment reminder. So that will automatically send the client a email once the due date has been passed. So if you set it to one week, that would mean that one week after the due date, we would send an automatic email directly to the client. So that would remind them to pay that invoice. So let's mark this invoice as sent. So let's go to the dashboard and we should be able to see the total from this invoice. So here we can see the total quoted. So the total quotations and the total invoiced is both the same. So we've created a quote and then sent the invoice. Now one thing to mention here is I currently have this set up as credits. So this the idea being that it's not a SaaS platform right now. So it's a pay as you go platform where people can just use it to send a few invoices each month. So I'm still experimenting with this idea, but currently it allows you to just top up credits. And then every time you create a quotation or a invoice, it will take one credit. And that's also the same for the clients. Each client will take one credit. So now that we've created the quotation, let's have a quick look over at the reports section. So the reports will show what invoices we sent in this period of time. So by default, it's sitting at one week. We can also change it to month or year, um, but we can see here that we've got this invoice amount. And I've also created a different invoice when I was testing this out. So you can see there's a separate invoice here added. And then we can save it out as a CSV or an Excel file. So it will download all those entries have a quick look at the settings section. So in here we can modify the company details, we can attach a logo, and that logo will be used on your quotations and your invoices. So it will be saved as part of the PDF file that's created. There is one more thing I want to show in this video. So this is a pretty cool feature and it's something that I had a lot of problems with when using other invoicing software. Um, so you can actually add new company details in here. So this is pretty cool because it allows you to charge in multiple currencies. So each company can have a different currency or it can just simply have a different address. Maybe you have multiple companies in one country. So it allows you to actually keep separate the transactions for each company. And also if you are doing that in different currencies, maybe you're freelancing in different currencies, it allows you to manage those individually. So it makes it much easier to keep all of your records cleaner when it comes to accounting. So that's the end of this product tour. If you want to try this out, make sure to sign up on the website. So that's on invoicegold.com and you can register a free account to test this out. I really want to make this platform as good as it can possibly be for freelancers. And if you want to test it out and give me feedback, that would be really, really great. And you can also add any questions in the comments about the technology used or how I did certain things. And I will try my best to help you uh, with answers to those questions. So thank you so much for watching this video today. And make sure to hit the like button if you found this interesting. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video.